So before I put clusters and snake lights on this tree for the first time, I'm going to add the cascading lights and I'm gonna put them at the top of the tree. Uh, this is my plan. I have a wire at the top of the tree that I use for picks and stems and things that I use in my topper. And it's just around the top, very top, just right about there, just around there. And it's not tight on the branch. It's loose to give room for the stems and things to go in. And so once you put the stems in, it's tight and it holds the stems. I'm gonna use that for these lights. And I'm gonna try to put the lights down there through the, the wire. The thing that I'm also gonna try to do is run the plug down the trunk and out at the bottom to my power strip that I have on the floor. I don't have any electrical up in the tree and these have a pretty long lead wire on them. And I was able to do that just by playing around and getting the plug down here. But I'm gonna run that along the trunk instead of, you know, on the outside of the tree like it is now. Well, I'm just playing around. But this is the cascading light. It's not plugged in behind me because I put the wire at the top so I could run it down. But it has, let me show you. this lead wire and it has this box in the middle of the lead wire and it has a button that's going to turn it on or off twinkle mode and i'm probably going to set on the twinkle and just leave them on twinkle but this is what the lights look like when they come out of the box they are wired you can move them around they're on this um, branch and um, in this case, my plan is to do three of them around the top of the tree. So it's not flat, a flat design, it's a round design in the top. And I'm not going to fluff them out at this point because I need a little room up there to get my other lights on the tree. That's what I'm gonna try to do is put three lights at the top, three cascading lights. Okay, that worked like I thought. I've got one plugged in, the one that was already up there. I've got to run that cord down and I'll do that here in a second. I'm going to keep it bunched up and I might even bunch that other one up so that it's not in my way when I get ready to put my cluster and snake lights on there. But it's working. The plan is working. One more. Try to get one more up there. Then I'll start on the clusters. cascading lights at the top and I ran the wire down the trunk and they're plugged in at the bottom on the floor into a power strip where I will plug everything else and the next thing I'm going to do just remember I'm not fluffing those out right now because I need the space I'm gonna put two clusters down either side of the trunk okay my plan here I've got two cluster lights. These are the holiday hangups cluster lights. And each one of these strands has 1500 warm white lights. And you can see they're close together on the wire. Um, that's what makes them a cluster. Also, they have a little bit of wire that goes from the main wire out to the light. So that's different from a snake light. The snake light, the wire, there is no wire. It's just the light on the main wire. And then the snake light, um, they're a little bit further apart, not a lot, but that's the difference in the cluster and the snake. These are connectable. This is how they come. And when you get ready to connect them to another set, what you do is unscrew 
this lead wire or transformer that you would normally plug into the wall. And you just unhook this right here. So you, you ditch that part of it. And then on your other wire or your other strand, you have the other end right here is the other end and you plug them together. And now your lights are connected. You can screw this down. And now my lights are connected. I have two strands connected. And then I plug in with the other wire. So I leave this on the other wire. So that's how you would connect them. And if you don't have to, or you don't you know, need to connect, on the end that is not connected to anything, you have a cap and you just cover uh, it with the cap. So these lights come like this in a bunch. My best advice is to unwind them before you start putting them in the tree and just stretch them out and kind of throw them on the floor. They're very sturdy, so uh, you can step on them. It's not a big deal, but just stretch them out. And that way you're not gonna get, you're not gonna drop them and let them tie themselves in a knot or something. Stretch them out, you'll be good. Or you could have somebody feed them to you as you are in the tree and somebody is on the outside holding them and just holding the slack, but you don't really need that. If you don't have a spare person, no one to help you like me, just unwind them and put them on the floor. So what I'm gonna do with these is I'm gonna, first I'm gonna plug them in. I've got a power strip on the floor and that is where I plug everything in. And so I'm gonna plug in one end just so they're lit while, while I run them in the tree. And I'm gonna put this strand deep into the tree on one side of the trunk. And then I'm gonna put the other strand deep into the tree on the other side of the trunk. And what that's gonna do is it's going to light the inside of the tree, obviously, and a lot of the light is gonna come through, shine out through your ornaments, and it looks really pretty to have the light really deep in the tree. You could set it on a different setting. So you might want your cluster lights that you have in the middle of the tree on twinkle, and then you have your outside lights on steady on. And so you have a little bit of subtle twinkle and subtle movement that you wouldn't normally have. Or it's not overwhelming when you set all of them to twinkle. I mean, it doesn't have to be twinkle. It can be any mode, whatever mode you want to set them on. But these have seven lighting modes and they do have medium twinkle and a slow twinkle. The slow twinkle is very nice. I'll show you that when I get them all put on the tree, but I'm gonna use the zigzag method, even on the trunk inside, inside the tree. So what I'll do is I'll start at the top and I'll push into the tree, close to the trunk as I can get, and I'll go back and forth and I'll drop down different branches and just keep the lights deep into the tree. I don't think I mentioned that these are 50 feet. These holiday hang up cluster lights that have 1500 lights, they're 50 feet long, which is one of the longest cluster lights there are. It's a great length, honestly. It can get from the top to the bottom on the trunk very easily of this tree. So this is a 10 foot DIY flocked tree and I'm going to do the cluster light down the trunk.
I don't even know if you can see that in the sun. I can see it a little bit right there. So this is my second cluster light that I'm gonna put on the trunk. You can plug up to three of the cluster lights together. So I am going to, I unplugged my lead wire from this one and I started at the top with the plug-in end of the other light. So I'm gonna take this end to the top and plug into that other strand of lights. And then I'm gonna run this one along the trunk. All right, I was able to get done with two, what I thought was good. And the technique here was basically just lift up a row of branches with one arm and run the lights across that row, then drop down a row and run them back across the other row. That's how I was able to get the lights in there up against the trunk. So that's two two sets of clusters. This is the holiday hang-ups version. And the next I'm going to light the branches with snake lights. I've got my two uh, cluster lights down the middle of the tree. And now I'm going to put snake lights on the branches. So I have a video where I explain the difference between a snake light and a cluster light, but this is a snake light. Uh, it is doesn't have the wire that comes out from the main wire like the cluster does. And so the, so the light is a lot closer to the main wire. And then it doesn't, they're not quite as close together um, on a snake light. They're also longer. This is 75 feet instead of 50 feet that is on the cluster light. And the length lets me get from the top to the bottom and go in and out on each branch on this big 10 foot tree. So I really prefer to put snake lights on this tree. This is a 10 foot tree and the 75, I need the 75 foot length on this. And I love the look, these match the cluster lights and they have the same settings. This is the holiday hangups version. These new this year are connectable. So these snake lights are connectable, just like the clusters. And in the past, I haven't connected snake lights. I have simply gone from the top to the bottom with my lights and plugged everything in at the bottom. Now that they're connectable, that might change my plan a little bit. Probably not a lot. I will probably connect some together at the top or at the bottom. I'm still gonna go from the top to the bottom and do the zigzag technique where I go in and out on each branch. I'm just gonna also do the same thing I did with the cluster lights and unwind them before I start putting them on the tree because I, th I think that you'll be less likely to get a tangle that way. Sometimes if you have them all wound up and you drop them, they can tangle themselves. Um, but if you go ahead and unwind them, you shouldn't have any problems. But I'm gonna do this one from top to bottom and use the zigzag technique. I'm gonna go in and out on each branch. And then, then I'm gonna light the rest of it with snake lights as well. All right, I've got them plugged in. I'm gonna take this end to the top. I'm gonna tuck that in for now. And um, if I decide to connect another light to it, that's where I'll connect it. But for now, I'm just gonna kind of hide that in the top of the tree. like I went a little wide at the top. I'm gonna go 
very narrow down here just to get this light to the bottom and finish up with this strand. And then on the next lights, I will adjust and go skinnier at the top and wider at the bottom. Okay, that is one 75 foot snake light on top of the two cluster lights that are in the middle. Now, I'm betting five more snake lights, which would give me six snake lights, which would be 6,000 lights on the snake lights, plus 3,000 on the clusters, so 9,000 lights. So, now just do the same thing on five more times. slow twinkle. Now you can set the outside lights on solid steady on and set the inside lights on twinkle and get a different effect. Let's try that and see what it looks like. Okay you can barely you can barely see on this video, but you have to find out or, or know exactly which one is your plug-in for the cluster. Then you set all the outside lights to steady on, and then you uh, set the cluster to, and, and remember, I plugged the two clusters together, so that's what I didn't remember. Plug the two clusters together so there's only one plug in for the cluster and I just set it at the at the outlet for the slow twinkle. Okay, can you see it? I've got the cascading lights are on twinkle and they're just barely got a little bit of twinkle and then I can see the little twinkle in the middle along the trunk so that is a much more subtle movement but I liked when they were all set to twinkle as well so anyway they do twinkle 